Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, so let me take a look here. Let me get these in frame. Let's see if I can do this here. Let me do this. Okay, one moment. Okay. So what's interesting, we have four major arcana cards. Just looking at this, we have strength, we have temperance in reverse, we have the justice card, and we have the moon. So you have some big ideas and some concepts on your mind. Um, for June and you will. So what I'm seeing with the two of pentacles is you really are juggling a lot going on, that you are busy, that you have responsibilities and obligations, could be work, relationships, finances, that you're just trying to keep it all together without dropping any of the pentacles. And so this two of pentacles you know, there are good times and rough water times, and you just always have to do this delicate dance to try to stay in balance. And that's uh, what's on your plate in June, is that you are really trying to make it all work. And uh, it's gonna take a lot of strength to be able to do that. We'll get to that in a moment, but along with this earth pentacle energy is the ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is this wonderful card because it's a card of a blessing or a gift from the universe and it's saying to you plant your seeds take care of them nurture them and you're going to have material uh, comfort you're going to have abundance prosperity you're going to have also spiritual prosperity as well, good health, and you're going to have happiness. This is one of the most wonderful cards of tarot is to have the Ace of Pentacles. The only caveat is that in order to gain access to this giant pentacle is that you really have to, you have to be thinking about what you're doing. You have to be working toward it. There needs to be a plan you need to use the pentacle energy of groundedness and a practical approach. Use the common sense in order to gain the, this opportunity for abundance. And as I always say, as a, on a literal level, you could find money on the street. You could be getting paid back if someone owes you money. Uh, you might be getting a rebate in the mail from a credit card company or the insurance company, but there's an unexpected windfall here. So along with being busy, having a lot on your plate, having to balance and find these things, somewhere along the line we have this strength card which is telling you that you have the inner strength and you have the courage and the heart that's big enough to handle whatever adversity comes your way. And that uh, you, you do it through compassion, you do it through kindness and consideration. And to not be brutal, and to not be forcing your views or your, your, your ideas on someone else, this is really about a soft control. And it's self-control as well. It's kind of taming your own animal instincts instead of flying off the, uh, you know, flying off the hook, is that the expression? You are going to think about your actions. You're going to try to lead or influence and to show strength through kindness and gentleness. There's such gentleness in this illustration of the woman who is, uh, who has the, the lion completely in, you know, paying attention to her. So strength is about having the strength yourself to be able to handle the adversity. So in June, something is definitely keeping you up at night. And it is enough to make you feel worried. You might be feeling guilty. You may be feeling 
you know, whatever it is, it's serious enough to you. And this is uh, the type of worry that is, makes our stomachs turn, puts a knot in our stomach, can't get sleep, we get more tired, we get frustrated, we could be angry, it could make us sad. And so I really think that this strength card is saying, you know, one day at a time, friend, you need to be active, you need to go back to the plan, go back to the basics to try to get yourself out of this feeling and then you will feel better. But this certainly goes in tandem with this temperance card in reverse because temperance in its upright position is about blending all the elements, finding harmony. And it's the harmony between your physical sense, your spiritual sense, everything. And you can see it's kind of like going with the flow of the water between the two cups. This is about finding balance and maintaining equilibrium and not overdoing it. So you're feeling out of balance in June. And here you're working so hard to try to stay in balance. Something may happen that causes you some worry and some stress and where you feel out of your comfort zone and out of a good, healthy place. So I would tell you that if this is how you're feeling, out of balance, no equilibrium, you feel a little bit lost, maybe exhausted, clearly exhausted, um, then you need, to, you need to take some steps there to get yourself back into balance. Watch what you eat, get more rest, Take a break from work. Take time for yourself to restore and to rejuvenate. So temperance in reverse is that you are feeling that imbalance. It's affecting you. And it could be because of the not getting enough sleep and the worry, which is triggering this. So in as we continue on, we see the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles is about this master, you're the master, working collaborative, collaboratively with others, working well with others. They're looking to you for your expertise, for your guidance, working toward a common goal. So this is a card of group activities, typically relating to work, certainly could be relating to family dynamics, um, you know, relationship dynamics, building something beautiful. He's building this cathedral. They're either guiding him or giving him feedback. And so you are being sought after for your expertise. And you have people who are wanting to and to willingly work with you toward a common goal. And we're back to two big idea cards, these majors, justice and then the moon. So justice is about decisions, fairness, and equality, of making decisions that are fair, that are uh, well balanced. Again, we see the scales of justice. We see the sword straight up and down here. So either you're dealing with some legal matters, some contract matters, some decisions, uh, some rulings, and per something is going to go in your favor because this, is, this to me says a positive, a positive decision. This uh, could be with relation to, um, you know, dealing with some problems and problem solving so that you're gonna have to make some decisions that are fair and beneficial to all. making these decisions and doing uh, the, the, the fair thing, the just thing of looking for the equality between people. Here we have the moon. And the moon points to this sense of, of uncertainty, of anxiety, unclear of the path. You can see you have the dog baying at the moon and you have the wolf baying at the moon, which is this other, this other uh, 
symbolic of this animal instinct. So what does that all mean? It means that there's some anxiousness and there's some perhaps uncertainty and there may be secrets that you're not aware of or that you're holding on to and that you're keeping some things below the surface. And they're not yet ready to be revealed. And that is fine because that is, uh, you know, it's everyone's choice of when they reveal what it is they want to reveal to others. But you have this secret knowledge here. You've got something in your pocket that you're keeping to yourself. You also may, even though you think that maybe things are getting on the right track, you're going to work towards getting better balance. Work seems to be going well. There's some uncertainty here. You're not quite, not quite clear of the path, of the path between these two towers and onward. So it's an, it's an interesting reading because we have some really strong cards. And if we look here, what, do we, what don't we have? Well, we do have swords, we have pentacles, and we have majors. We don't have wands, and we don't have cups. So this is a month for you, Sagittarius, where you're really focused on the balance in your life and the resources that you have. Resources including time, energy, money, you know, money coming in, money going out. Something is worrying you, and then we have, again, Focus on work, career, collaboration, successful group work. You're out of balance, feeling out of balance. You're dealing with issues of fairness and of hopeful, fair decisions, and you still have this uncertainty. And at the heart of it, you have the strength to deal whatever's coming your way. But, you know, it's never easy. It's never easy to climb out of this sense here of this worry. You may be able to do so even though you feel out of balance, uh, but there's still this remaining something deep inside is troubling you or, you know, you're keeping something within. The moon would also tell you to pay attention to your psychic side, to check in with that. Um, that maybe that can also bring a sense of relief. So Sagittarius, let's get a little more information for you. Let's get some love since we don't see any cups here today. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, interesting. You never know when you meet someone uh, how they're going to influence or impact your life. So, so be it with that and keep your eyes open and put yourself in positions and places to meet people if you're single. If you're in a relationship, then uh, perhaps you will enhance it and deepen your bond. And finally, to close the reading, let's get another oracle card as a meditation or focus point. This is Inner Power, the Divine Father. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. So meditate on, on how you are building your future, that along the way there are bumps, there are bruises, there are things that keep us up at night. We feel uncertain, but ultimately if we are honest, if we are equitable, we make these good decisions, things work out for us. I think the big message and the big takeaway here is finding the balance, trying to keep the balance within your life. So Sagittarius, I hope that you found something here that resonated with you today. If you did, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, or comment, and then check out some of my other readings. 
and I wish you the very best in June. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye.